On this question, we want to solve the exponential equation. 4 to the 4x minus 1 equals 15 to the x plus 1. This is an exponential equation. We know it's an exponential equation because we have variables in the exponent. We have three main strategies that we use for solving exponential equations. Um, and I want to take a look at them before we start solving this problem. So the first one your book calls relating the bases and other places call it the one-to-one -one property for exponent fun exponential functions. So this method requires you to have the same base on each side of the equation, and then you can simplify by setting the exponents equal to each other. If you look at our example, we have a base of 4. You could change that to be a base of 2. 4 is 2 squared. However, the other side is a base of 15, and there's not really much we can do to change the base on this side because it's not um, a base to a power. So the first method will not work for us because we're not able to make the bases the same on both sides. And then we have another strategy which we convert to a logarithmic equation. Exponents and logarithmic logarithms are inverses of each other, and we can write equivalent equations in either form. So if we have an exponential equation, y equals b to the x, we can write that as a log equation, and it's still a true statement log base b of y equals x. So this is an option for us in solving this equation. Another method is to take the log of both sides. This is something we're allowed to do because both logs and exponentials are um, one to one. And so when we take the log of both sides, we get an equivalent statement. So with this method, we have y equals b to the x. We take the log of both sides. We apply the power rule for logarithms to get the variable out of the exponent. And then we solve for the variable by dividing both sides by natural log b. And we've solved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to solve this problem with both methods and we'll see that you do have the choice between doing it either one of these ways. So let's start with converting to a logarithm. Now this is an interesting problem because you actually have two bases, a base of 4 and a base of 15, so you can choose which base you want to use. Um, the base of the exponent becomes the base of the log. So let's choose a base of 4. So if we're going to write this as an exponential, you would write log, excuse me, I said that backwards. We're going to take the exponential and write it as a log. We're going to write the word log and use base b. The log always equals the exponent. You've got two exponents here, but you want to use the exponent on that base. So since we use base 4, we're going to set this equal to 4x minus 1. And then the other side of the equation is what goes inside that logarithm. So that's 15 to the x plus 1. Let me rewrite that so that it's not so messy log base 4 of 15 to the x plus 1 equals 4x minus 1. So now we can use the power rule for exponents, excuse me, power rule for logarithms, and move this exponent into the coefficient. So this becomes x plus 1 log base 4 of 15 equals 4x minus 1. 
then we can use the distributive property and distribute this log to both terms. That becomes x log base 4 of 15 plus log base 4 of 15 equals 4x minus 1. Now we want to solve for x, and we have x's on both sides of the equation. So we're going to group the x's to one side and all the terms without x to the other side. So I'm going to move this to the left so that the x's will be on the same side. And these two terms don't have x, and I want them on the other side. So I'll move log base 4 of 15 to the other side. So this would give the equation x log base 4 of 15 minus 4x equals negative log base 4 of 15 minus 1. I can now factor out the x that we have in common. That's x times log base 4 of 15 minus 4 equals negative log base 4 of 15 minus 1. And now I can isolate x by dividing both sides by log base 4 of 15 minus 4. Log base 4 of 15 minus 4. So we have our solution being x equals negative log base 4 of 15 minus 1 over log base 4 of 15 minus 4. We're going, to we're going to do this problem with the other method as well, and then I'll bring my calculator out, and we're going to show that these two are equal to each other. So let's write our problem down again. We have 4 to the 4x minus 1 equals 15 to the x plus 1. And this time, I'm going to solve it by taking the log of both sides. So. I'll do the natural log on the left and the natural log on the right. And on both sides, I'll use the power rule for logarithms to move that exponent into the coefficient. That becomes 4x minus 1 times natural log 4 equals x plus 1 natural log 15. And then I'll use the distributive property on the left and use the distributive property on the right. So this becomes 4x natural log 4 minus natural log 4 equals x natural log 15 plus natural log 15. Once again, we want to group the x's to one side and the terms that don't have x on the other side. So um, we'll move this term that has x to the left, and we'll move this term that doesn't have x to the right. That gives 4x natural log 4 minus x natural log 15 equals, and on the other side, we're going to have um, natural log 4 plus natural log 15. I have a common x, which I'll factor out. That gives 4 natural log 4 minus natural log 15 equals natural log 4 plus natural log 15. And I can divide both sides by what's in the parentheses, and that's 4 natural log 4 minus natural log 15 on both sides. And I have my other solution, x equals natural log 4 plus natural log 15 over 4 natural log 4 minus natural log 15. So let's get our calculator out and type to see if we got the same answer. So I'm going to type in 
Uh, I'm going to start with the one on the bottom right because that one's a little bit easier to type in. I need parentheses around the numerator. That's natural log of 4 plus natural log of 15. Close parentheses for the numerator. Divided by, and we need parentheses around the denominator, 4 natural log 4 minus natural log of 15 and close parenthesis for the log and close parenthesis for the denominator. So we get 1.44 for this one. Now let's try the other one. So the other one, we need parentheses around the numerator again. Negative um, log, log base 4. So we're going to go, um, I think the trick was math alpha math. Yeah, okay. Log base 4 of 15 minus 1. Close parentheses, divide. I need parentheses for the denominator. We're going to do math alpha math to do log base 4 of 15. And we want a minus 4. And we'll close parentheses for the denominator. And you can see we get the same answer with both methods 1.44. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.